uh, today we will see that how we can uh, change existing oracle database name sometimes a uh, customer uh, tells us to change uh, db name as per their need and uh, usually uh, it doesn't mm, happens quite often but in uh, some cases we do this like when we uh, restore existing database on new node or uh, we clone existing database so in that case we need to change the database name so that it will be distinct from the original database so there are uh, uh, two methods to change the name of database the uh, first method is oracle provided an id utility so using this utility you can change the database name and the another method that is by creating a new control file so it is the old method in which we create a control file trace and we modify the db name there and create a new control file using that statement okay so in this video we will look into uh, first method and in next video i will cover the second method so for this my platform is windows and my database details is test tv is my current database name i will change it to my test tv and it is oracle 11204 enterprise edition uh, i uh, i have selected windows platform because in windows there are some additional steps you need to perform whereas in linux unix environment it is quite uh, simple as compared to windows because in windows you know that there are uh, services running in the server whereas in linux you don't need to manage any uh, services okay so remember whenever you are doing any uh, major activity on database take a complete database backup so that whenever uh, something goes wrong you will be in safe side so i will take these three backups sp file database and archive log and control file so i will connect my database sorry it is test tv and it is right now in read write state and uh, uh, during this uh, uh, during the activity uh, you can st stop your listener also so i will also stop the listener okay it is stopped check the status again okay this is not running good now i will connect to our main session connected backup sp file done now uh, backup database and archive log meanwhile we can note down our old database name and db id and we will cross check this in in the last whether these are changed or not 
I will paste here. Okay, database backup completed, archive backup completed. Now we will create P file. I will create the uh, p file uh, with my new database name that is my test tv dot ora ok it is created now you need to uh, shut down the existing database and start in mount stage now we will change our database name and db id so the syntax is simple nid then target you must have sys uh, sys user credentials you need to mention the db name parameter and the new database name value it is os level command and always try to run uh, if you are on windows so run with that user which have all the access on oracle it will ask you for your confirmation so type here why it is simply up updating all the data files attached with db with new name so you get uh, you will get the confirmation here that database name changed to my test db and there are some instructions first is modify parameter file and generate new password file before restarting okay and after that when you will be starting the database you need to start with reset log option okay so first we need to modify the p file which we had created earlier So this was the P file. I will open with Notepad. Here you need to modify the DB name parameter. This one. Just I will add my here so that it will be my D my test DB. And here it is test DB. I need to modify it to my test DB. everything seems good now we will save this file close this file now go to steps we have changed the database name now we will create a new service because if you open services you will see here, uh, see here oracle services for your database so right now there are services for test tv and to connect a new database instance there must be a db service running on windows if you are on windows in linux there is simply you export the oracle sid 
and you create the p file and you can start up the instance but in windows there are a uh, little bit complicated st uh, complicated uh, steps okay so we will create a new service for my new database name startup mode will be auto remember to run this command with admin user because it will not run with normal user if you refresh here in services window you will see a new service will appear here with my test db name here you can see oracle service my test db is created and status is starting Again, the, uh, check the services. Yeah, so VSS Writer service created, and my database service has been created, and it is in running state. So by default, your DB will be up in mount state. So we don't need to start up the database. Go to the steps. Now we need to create the new password file for our new database. So this is the syntax. Okay, created. You can check this file by opening this directory. Here it is. Now we will create SP file because right now it is running on P file. Sorry, it is showing idle stance because uh, we are using old Oracle SID. If you echo the SID, you will find that currently it is using test TV environment variable. So we need to set the correct SID, which is my test DB. Now try to connect. Connected. Uh, if you want to check that whether your database is running on SP file or P file, so you can simply run show parameter as P file. If it is blank, that means your database is running on P file, and if it displays any value, that means your uh, your database up using SP file. So we will create SP file, create it, and go to steps. Now we need to restart the DB so that it will start using SP file. So set immediate. Startup mount again. You cannot start up normally because on open reset log command is pending. So your uh, your database will not open using normal startup command. We need to open the database using reset logs. Okay. 
now check the name and open modes okay so my database name has been changed to my test db and it is now in data state so we have a new database now with new db name so by this way you can change the database name but there are some more steps we need to follow since if you if you check here right now here two instances are running on your windows server one is your old db uh, service and this is your new db uh, this is your new db uh, service so we need to delete the old service so you can delete using oradin command so i will delete this service delete it if you check here yeah so they are gone now in case uh, you need to modify in your tns names as per your requirement so you can modify and we need to start our listener okay listener is not running because we had stopped it is still uh, showing my old database name i think it is uh, mentioned in listener.ora so we need to modify our listener.ora file sorry yeah here you can check that my db name is mentioned here so i need to modify this to my test db and everything is okay here close it now i will reload the listener successfully reloaded now check again the status okay fine now my new database name is reflecting here now we need to cross check the remote connectivity also so that we can ensure that the application team will able to connect or the end user or the outer world will be able to connect to my database so i will connect sql plus any user uh, since it is running on my local pc so i can use my uh, this local host value local host host name you can use your ip also then port then db name yeah connected so our remote connectivity is also working you can check your database name also okay so hope this video uh, uh, help you and if it helps you then please uh, support by uh, subscribing in next video i will convert this database name from my test db to test uh, db uh, by using the control file method that was the uh, second method which I have mentioned here in our SOP this method okay so thank you very much